Hi everyone, John, Franchise Skeptic here. We're talking about Cornwell, one of the tool resellers and distributors uh, to which we are talking about this week. Cornwell uh, has an initial max investment of about $275,000 on the franchise disclosure document. It is a 10 year agreement. They do have one of those technology fees of around $50 a month. Um, the Dow Jones Industrial Comparison average that we run comes about $850,000, $860,000 if you just took that initial investment, added that technology fee every month, through the Dow Jones Industrial Average, $850,000. You know, you need to earn about $45,000 to $85,000 a year in profit alone just to match what you would do if you did not buy this franchise and you just left that money in your 401k. All right, so when you did this, um, again, like Snap-on Tools and the others, you buy the tools, they estimate, like Snap-on, for every $100 in tools, it's $150 from revenue. Their median van is about $400,000, so that implies about $250,000 or so in tool purchases. Remember, your profit's gonna be about $80,000 a year needed. So $400,000 minus $250,000 is $150,000. You need that $80,000 or so in profit uh, to match that Dow Jones Industrial Average. That leaves you about 70 odd thousand dollars left to maintain the van do the credit arrangements, buy any paperwork, computers that you need, et cetera, et cetera. Can it be done? Uh, possibly, but you know, again, as to the other ones, if you want to sell tools, get a job at Home Depot, get a job at Lowe's, get a job at AutoZone. I would not necessarily spend $300,000 of my life for a high pressure tool, uh, tool sales job, but if this is the sort of thing for you, good luck with it. I'm very skeptical. Thank you so much. Like, follow, share. I appreciate it. Have a good day.